Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video today, and oh boy, it's finally time. Now, I don't do this around Christmas time. I normally do this type of like stuff, the top 10 or like at the end of the year on, on Instagram. But since I'm getting more confident with, with my YouTube channel and all that, sorry for stuttering, I thought about, hey, you know what? How about I go make a video about it? You know, yeah. In today's video, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna show you guys all my top ten favorite figures of 2022 that I bought this year. You know, oh boy. Oh, oh <laughs> no, my wrong, my bad. Oh boy. Uh, Sinkoku Shadow Moon. Yes, I know. Where's Sinkoku Shadow Black? Well, here's the thing. I didn't buy that figure. Why? That figure has QC issues. Unfortunately, and, uh, I didn't want to risk that. Risk, it, risk that. So I decided. So I decided. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go buy it. It looks cool, but at the same time, yeah, no. Shadow Moon over here. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of coming in black. Shout seeing this suit in after show was pretty cool and badass. And with Shadow Moon appearing in the show, I was excited as hell because the, I'll be honest, I think Comet Black is a boring show, but Shadow Moon over here made the show pretty good. Like for real, he like, for real, he's like the only good thing about the show, in my opinion. But this figure, this feels like I'm playing with the actual suit in hands every time I take pictures of it, you know. It looks so good. The scope as well. Also, the fact that the fact that this is like a non-premium Bandai figure, so good, so good, so good. This look like this looks like the actual suit from the show, you know? and it's so good. Also, the main reason why it's never ten on my list due to the fact that I accidentally broke one of the antennas on his foot. Sadly, that lost the Duxon point, which is why he's on number ten spot. If he didn't, if if the antenna didn't break, then he would have been like, I'll say number one. But uh, yeah. In the number ten spot, hello, hey Boogie here again. I said number ten spot. My dumbass, I meant number nine. So yeah, back to the video. We have, well. This figure, this figure had like a lot of controversy last year, unfortunately. And if you know why, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the uh, Lightning Collection in Space Silver. Yes, Zane himself, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that was apparently a wall, the guy that is a Walgreens, a true a Walgreens. I can't talk about. The guy that's a Walgreen exclusive, but also apparently he Dino Thunder Silver. God damn Walgreens, what the hell? <laughs> we all know what happened with this figure last year, with the main controversy it got into. And uh, oh boy, what? it was annoying as shit to track one down for all those people. I was so cool from buying one off eBay. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I only spent like a hundred bucks, but I did it. I spent twenty. Why? Cause this year Walgreens had this had this guy up for pre-order, and I made a Walgreens account and snagged him. Zane's a good figure. Perfect scope, good articulation. Sometimes, sometimes his articulation is limited, but at the same time, all my figures are like that. But due to the fact, of, due to the fact that next year he's getting a re-release. Say a regular re-release. 
Which is why I had to deduct points. Which is why he had number nine. This isn't bad by Rio. This isn't bad. But the fact that he's getting a re release next year with a bike that he only used in one episode is pretty useless. Yeah, I had to I had to deduct I had to deduct him. Same time, it 
at the same time make perfect sense due to the fact that the suit the suit can't move a lot of show because of well because of this but yeah, oh, yeah overall besides that it's a good he's a good uh, perfect figure alright though number six this one actually surprised me. I can't believe he made number six on the list, but uh, hey, I'm happy for him. <clears throat> so number six, we have the. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Number six, we have the Lightning Collection. Uh, I'm sorry, we have the Lightning Collection Lock Gal Screen. Fun fact this, this is actually one of my favorite suits in Power Rangers. I love the figure. It reminds me of Down Charge Green and Space Black. Both two, both of them are like my favorite, my favorite like LC figures of last year. Because they pose pretty well and they're pretty good figures. And, uh, and the limitation is beyond both those two. Well, on my copy. And Damon reminds me of that. I'm not saying a lot, but, but the limitation is somewhat beyond I can say I'm okay, getting my copy in my opinion so yeah and yes my copy did not have the MMPR boots on there so I'm all good but uh, yeah overall Damon really good figure all right though number five damn I'm on five already shit <laughs> yeah I'm on five holy crap Number five, we have. Number five, we have one of my favorite uh, Toku of this year. Comrade Black Sun. SA figure, Comrade Black Sun. Now, funny story. I, uh. This. I thought I canceled my pre order on this guy on Amiyami because, well, also, well, I'm trying to save money so I, I could get my hand on SB license. But apparently, I didn't, apparently, I didn't, uh, cancel the pre-order. I thought I did. No, I didn't, and, uh, well, I'm happy, I, I'm happy that I did, because this figure, oh my goodness, this figure, is, this figure is smooth, isn't, there's one problem with him, but at the same time, like, it's like, uh, uh, like, it's an issue with all, with every other figure art, which is this. You hear, you hear the cracking? Yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much. And no, I'm not going to put like, some type of oil on him. No, I don't want to ruin the figure that way. But besides that, besides that, everything else about the figure is so good. The articulation, the accessory. And my God, every time I play with him, I feel like I'm, like I'm re-watching the show all over again. And I love Black Sun. It's one of my favorite tokens this year. It's actually, it's actually one of my favorite comrade shows. Uh, Comrade shells on my list, like number six, next to Kruger. I love Black Sun. Black Sun is so good. Better than Revice, in my opinion. But, goddamn it. Yes, I have Shadow Moon on pre order as we speak, and I will do a review of that figure next year. Saber, it's not good, it's not perfect, and it has a good moment for a good character. And unfortunately, this one character, she was a badass in the first beginning, but then they ruined her, turned her into a horrible incest, delus delusional, broken character, and that's just sad. She's basically Spectre 2.0, unfortunately. Sabella. Again, the first half, again, listen, I got the figure because we, because Sibella, Reka, deserved justice. 
for how to, how the show treated her as Spectre 2.0. And, uh, every time I play with the figure, the articulation is smooth as, as, well, how can I say, it's somewhat smooth as Black Suns, in my opinion. And also, she doesn't have the annoying saber effect with her hands having, like, with her hand missing, like, freaking this part, but like, all the other saber figure. I hate that so much, it pisses me off about those damn figures. See, Bella doesn't have that. I'm actually pretty happy that she doesn't. Every time I play a figure, I feel like I feel like I'm playing with like a freaking Sinkoku Seiho. Cause he felt like one in my opinion. I think it's I didn't say last year, but last year for group last year I fucking love the Grand Seal figure art because I said I said I said it to my friends. That the Grand Seal figure art, in my opinion, in my eyes, felt like I'm playing with Sinkoku Seiho. And I love it. I fucking loved it. And Sibella felt like I played with a Senkoku Seiho. That's funny, cause I have a Senkoku Seiho on my list. Number three spot is everyone's favorite purple rider from Zero One. Hirobi! Yes, SA figure Kamarider Hirobi. Yes, I know, this figure came out two years ago. But here's the thing. Let me tell you. For a figure to be part of my list, here's the logic that I gotta go with. If I bought the figure this year, then part of it's part of the top ten. And the Roby, well, I bought the figure this year. You know, this guy managed to this, this, this guy managed to surprise all my expectations and like, he became one of my favorites for this year. Scope wise, articulation wise, the accessory wise. I'm so happy that I got this version instead of the uh, freaking translucent version. So yeah, he is he is expensive. I will say that this guy wasn't cheap to get off of Army Army, but still, he's actually he has a very good figure. And number two spot is everyone's favorite Dragon Ball character. I think he's my favorite Dragon. The Prince of All Saiyans, Super Saiyans for Vegeta. Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Ironically, it's funny that uh, last year, Super Saiyan 4 Goku was number one on my top 10 list, my top 10 figures of 2021. Vegeta became number two due to the fact that there's, due to the fact that there's another figure that, that became number one in my eyes. Everything about the figure is perfect. The scope, the articulation, the accessories. They feel like that. They figure feel like I'm watching. I'm playing with the actual form from the show itself. And that's what that's what I like about Tamashi. That when I, when I buy a new figure from there, I feel like that I'm playing with the actual suit from 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 that one show, or the actual or the actual anime character from the one anime. And I love it. Also, if you can't tell, the pose he's in right now is a, is a freaking uh, Dokkan pose. If you know, you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> and yes, I too do play Dokkan. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And number one. Well, no! <clears throat> Before we go to number one, I have a few honorable mentions. I have a few honorable mentions. I have four, but uh, fourthly... Oh, fuck. Alright, I was going to say, the fourth one was supposed to be uh, Dino Dunn Akira. I mean, Dino Dunn Yellow, but uh, it wasn't... She could, again, she did make it led to the fact that my copy broke. So, yeah. But the honorable mention we have for this year are Little Genius. Good figure, but I just didn't have enough but I just didn't have like enough time to play with him. He, he was supposed to be part of top ten, but at the same time, he was actually, he was actually my most expected figure of this year. Oh for you can't see because it's so like yeah. He he was he was supposed to be he was, 
He was supposed to be my most, my most expecting figure this year, but unfortunately, he didn't make the cut. Number two, Kruger Titan. I like this figure a lot. I like this figure a lot, actually. Really good. Good articulation. Good, like, accessory, all that good scope, but at the same time, I'm scared that I might break it due to the fact that, uh, it, it's pretty easy to break his freaking arms right here, which is why, which is why he, uh, which is why he didn't make the top 10 because of that. And this last one, a friend of mine got this for me, but, uh, come on, Chalice. Yes, Hajime, my favorite character in Blade. While he didn't make the list, I'm actually grateful that my friend got this for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if he didn't make a list, then that would be cool. But unfortunately, our boy, our Joker boy, didn't make it. Now, for number one, this figure isn't even a token character. What? It's not? No, actually, it's a comic. It's a comic book character. Well, superhero and comic book character. We do. You know what I'm saying? And number one is the Metacon Mayfex Symbiote Spider-Man. All right, let me explain why this figure. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this. This figure right here. This figure right here feels like that I'm playing with, playing with the actual Spider-Man that came out of the Spider-Man anime cartoon. I love that show. One of my favorite versions of Spider-Man. And I hear every time I play this figure, I hear I hear that theme song and spectacular Spider-Man one. Because goddamn, I can I can take so many pictures with this guy and still call it a day. I don't know what Madcon did to make the guy so good, but he's so good. Good articulation, good posability. I love the black and blue color. The co the color, the colors as well. Due to the fact that uh, this version, uh, this version is based off Todd and Father Spider-Man. The only Todd in his initially figured, but hey, but hey, whatever. And uh, yeah, this guy, this guy, I. I this guy was hard for me to find, I can say. Because I had a pre-order on, on me, on me, like, like what, like, what, four months in a row? But every time he got delayed, I got more and more angry, so I had to cancel, so I decided to cancel his pre-order. And, and when the release date came out for his pre- and When the release date came out for the figure to come out, and when the release date happened for this, for this fucker to finally come out, I was mad! I was like, great, now I want one. So I thought, Big Black Torture has him in stock. It took me like, well, my third or fourth try to get him, because he sold out, he sold out multiple times. I, I got one, put him in a pile of loot, with a few other toys, and uh, bam. Here he is now. I would say this, this is actually the best Spider-Man figure that came out of 2022, in my personal opinion. Yes, I know this has been the Marvel Legends version. I'm playing a lot of Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends. I do have the symbiote version of the, of the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Good figure, but I like this one way more. Which is why, which is why this, uh, which is why this guy number one. This is hand down, hand down, the best figure of 2022, in my opinion. No other figure in my eye can top this guy. And uh, yeah, that's my list. Hope you all like, hope you all enjoy. Have a Merry Christmas, cause today, well right now I'm recording this, it's Christmas Eve. And uh, and uh, yeah guys. Hope you all have a good night. Enjoy the holidays, tomorrow with your friends and family. And uh, yeah. Also tomorrow I will be, tomorrow I will be live streaming. So, yay for that. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Put me notification on for my next video. And, uh, yeah, my name's Boku. And I'm out. <laughs>
Also, follow all my social media descriptions below. See ya.